I'm Luke Martin, world traveler and proud Taiwanese food lover. Although Taiwan is not my home country, it certainly holds a special place in my heart. After leaving Canada in 2016 to spend a year in Taiwan, I fell in love with the culture, the people, and the cuisine. Since then, I've seen, done, and tasted nearly everything the typical tourist tries in Taiwan. But this time, I've come back to discover a side of Taiwan only the locals can show you. I'm teaming up with Taiwan experts to show you why this beautiful island has so much to offer and is worth coming back again and again. Taiwan is known for its night markets, and I've been here enough times to have tried just about everything. That said, I want to find out what the locals eat to satisfy those late night cravings, something other than the typical night market fare. I've decided to ask my friend Dennis, host of the Taipei Tonight Show on Taiwan Plus. Dennis Nye is an acclaimed Taiwanese American host, actor, singer, and all around entertainer. He is also my late night guru for tonight's activities. To take me around for some after hours grub, we're here in one of the busiest nightlife districts in the capital of Taiwan, Taipei City. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers to a night out in Taipei. Exactly. We're at this place, Grey Me. A little like, you know, it's got the like, old Chinese decor, but it's it's definitely modern, a little bit trendy. Do you feel like there's a lot of places like this in Taipei? Are they popping up all the time now? Or? It is. Well, I mean, Taipei has always been really culturally diverse. Mm -hmm. um, so the nightlife here and the the the, uh, the food, the drinking culture has always been very vibrant. I think Taiwan is one of those places its population density is high. When it's like that, people just don't sleep. <laughs> you know, any, so. any time of the day you go out, there's a, there's some place to go and there's some places, yep. you know, there's some people to meet. It did get more and more diverse, I would say, um, now with the newer generation coming in, bringing new ideas. Uh, but the new idea is not just to bring what's the coolest, maybe outside of Taiwan, it's to bring what was here um, that was deeply embedded in the Taiwan culture or the Chinese culture. Right. And then let's make that stuff cool. Mm -hmm. And how do we make that stuff, yeah. you know, kind of trendy, right? I think yeah. we need some food. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah. All right, we got the first dish. Yeah, dinner served. All right. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh, all right. How much of that did you get? <laughs> Absolute zero. All right. You're so gonna have is, to tell me what we this got. This is just great. This is the uh, this is a belt fish. You know what that is? Not familiar. Actually. It's, it's a type of eel. Right? I think it's related to you know what what is the uh, the earthquake fish? The one of those. Really oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I think it's similar. Probably in the same family or mm -hmm. you know something like that. This is prepared. It's soaked in um, a, a sea salt for, uh, for a little bit, marinated, uh, and then. Um, Cooked with some sake, light sake, Ooh, okay. uh, a little bit of miso, yep. and then uh, right now it's served with some uh, salmon eggs yep. uh, and things like that. Now this is beautiful. That they, they, they roll it up in rolls, so this is, they, they fillet it already. So mm. There's no bones in it. It's just beautiful tasting fish. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Ready to Let's chew. Begin. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So it's like a fish. It's, a, it's just a fish wrapped up mm -hmm. on the bottom. In Taiwan, we call it hai wei, which means the, the scent of the ocean. Mm. Beautifully presented and super fresh. Dennis and I are off to a great start on our after hours food tour. Let's see what's next on our list. All right, you ready for the next one? Let's do it. All right, let's check it out. Hi. Hi. Next chef. Oh. Um, so this is uh, this is a, a duck duck breast. Oh, duck. Okay. Um, but uh, duck breasts are often known to be a little bit on the dry side. Mm -hmm. So the way that they cooked it was they, you know, it's, again, it's a little bit of fusion. So yeah. there's some Parmesan cheese in there mm -hmm. mixed with the salty duck egg. Have you had that? Before? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Not a huge fan, but let's see. Really? How oh, I this. love it. You love it. So in the yolk of these salted eggs is really smooth and creamy. Uh, so the okay. chef has used that to mix it with. Some Parmesan cheese to make the sauce to make the duck breast okay uh, more balanced. So salted egg cheese sauce. Yes. That's a sauce. yes. All right. Yes. Right. Ready to dig in? Let's try, man. Right. Let's try. Let's try this. I love duck. Huge, yeah? huge duck guy. We we actually hunt duck in Canada. You're kidding me. So I have it all the time. Grew up, grew up with it. So let's see how it is here right. in Taiwan. Though. Mm. 
Oh, this is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is not dry whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And I feel a little bit of spice in there, a little bit of chili in there maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good, really juicy. Perfectly cooked, tender, and juicy duck. More please. I think that looks like lobster on top of this. Yes, it? Yeah. well, this is something that's more, yeah, I guess, uh, familiar in this part of the world. Everybody loves lobsters, but in North America, I guess we mostly have Boston. This is the other kind. This is the, the horny lobsters. Right. The meat texture on these are, are much more tender. Mm. All right, and uh, so the chef has used the, uh, the shell of it to make the sauce. Ah, okay, gotcha. And then made it into a pasta. Again, mm. this is a little bit of fusion. fusion yeah. um, we're on an island so you get the seafood, the freshness, mm. um, but then we have some Italian pasta mm. to go around with it, All right? Let's dig, dig in. in, dig in. <clears throat> you know, you said Boston lobster. Yep. I took a little bit of offense there because we're, we're pretty famous for our oh, lobster oh, up in man. Canada. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. get great lobster. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one though. Mmm. Oh. oh, I love the mm. sauce. Tell me, tell me what you taste, what you taste. Mm. You can definitely taste, it's like concentrated lobster flavor. Like you mm -hmm. use those <clears throat> shells to boil down the sauce. It's it's definitely like a fusion. Like, I mean, it, it tastes like something I'd have in Italy, really, but a little bit of a spice in there too. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a heat and that lobster is just yeah, beautiful. Slight kick to it. Yeah, right. I like it, that's how I like it. Yeah. Really well cooked pasta though. That, that like sauce is incredible. Mm. You have like the coolest voice <laughs> ever. <laughs> you were like designed for hosting the Taipei Tonight Show. Oh. But uh, you used to work in radio too, right? Yeah. How do you even get started in something like oh, that? Oh boy. Such a unique uh, profession. It's, it's a really fun show. I believe it's, uh, it's, it's time for me to take what I have accumulated in the past decades, uh, doing shows in Taiwan, doing shows in the States, many parts of Asia, to bring some of that and then present it in a way and in a language where people outside of Taiwan can get a glimpse of. Mm -hmm. you know, I think that's what Taipei Tonight Show is about. Mm -hmm. Tell me, you're, you're finished off at the Taipei Tonight Show, you're heading home, mm -hmm. it's late, mm -hmm. you're craving for some, some grub, Mm -hmm. What's your go-to? What's your go-to late night snack here in Taiwan? One thing I really like about Taiwan is the, uh, it's called Rue Chao. Have you heard of that? Mm. Rue Chao. I think I've heard of it. Stir-fried? Yeah, St yeah stir-fried. Right, okay. Right. With this type of uh, cuisine, it's, it's all about how high and how quick you can cook it and and in that way, you lock in the flavors, mm. right? So you don't want you don't want that flavor to be mm. to be spread out or dissipated. Mm. Fast food the way it should that, be. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? So that's that's something that's really amazing. Well, let's let's go wanna, get some. You, you want to try it? Yeah, let's do it. You feel adventurous tonight? I'm ready. All right. Well, let's go. Let's, let's go, go check that out. Time to take Dennis somewhere more my style. I'm talking fresh seafood and cheap cold beer. Oh, there we go. Yay! All right. Shit, shit. Shit, shit. Go-to drink when you come to a a real chow, yeah. which is uh, I guess stir fry, hot fry, hot, hot fry. fry. Really, it means hot. Uh, okay. Chow means kind of like stirring it up in the hot in, in the wok. Right? You got to go with some cold beer. Taiwan. Yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, beer is one of those. You got to have a fresh. Thank so you. This is the 18 day Taiwan. 18 days. Yeah. Beer. This okay. is just fresh. Totally different atmosphere here. Yeah? Fresh off the line. Cheers, guys. Pretty crazy atmosphere here complete, compared to the last place. But this this is like my type place. This is your high place. This is not my type place. I just feel like way more comfortable. Obviously, no problem with the other place. More trendy places if you want to, you know, go for date night or whatever it is. But if you want to have a proper meal, this is where you relax. Drinks, yeah, exactly. This is where you come. Yep. So let's get some food. So you know what this is called? And then, uh, so in Mandarin, this is called the ocean melon seed. Okay. Now, it, it, Why is that? Okay, so there's a, uh, there's a Chinese delicacy. Have you had like, you know, sunflower seed, right? Okay, yeah. And there's uh, pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Uh, and you, you when you eat those, you, you crack it open. Right. Right? So this, when it's fresh and you cook it, the timing's all right, it, it cracks open a little right. bit. So we call that the ocean, the, or the sea melon seed. Sea melon seed, right? Okay, I've never heard that. Uh, yeah, but this, this is great. You gotta, you gotta try this. Is it, is it this three cup? No, this is this is just a uh, quick stir fry. Quick stir fry. Uh, it's not, yeah, it's not. It's See not. some garlic in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, so much fresh right? seafood here. 
And, the and delicious. Yes. And the flavor mm. goes well. Of course. With something cold. <laughs> of course. Stir fried to perfection, out of the walk into your table in seconds. That's my kind of fast food. All right, so this is this is the famous Taiwan sundae mm, three cup, cup sauce, right? Okay. Have you had this before? I've what had three going? cup chicken. All right. What do we got inside uh, this you one? Want, you want to try it? Then I'll tell you what it is. It tastes just like chicken. All right. Should I trust you? Yeah. All right. Obvious. What? What's, what's that? Let me look at this face. You know? <laughs> what's not to trust? It tastes like chicken, but it's not. The Mandarin, the word chicken is in the name. It's called Tianji, means field chicken okay. uh, or farm chicken. It's okay. not exactly chicken, right? We're having three cup bullfrog. 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 Have you had that before? Yeah. yeah. I've had it. I've had yeah. frog before, but I don't think I've ever had three cup bullfrog. Three cup, right. Uh, okay. It's good. It's, it's good. great. Yeah. No, that's full flavor. I mean, a normal person probably wouldn't be able to even tell that this is frog, no, if you no. can tell. No. Like me, I thought it was chicken, to be honest. Although it might not sound appetizing, these frogs, or farm chickens, are a must order. People talk about about Taiwan is the food, and, mm -hmm. and you know it's kind of ironic because we are filming a food show right now. And sometimes I, I agree though, like it's it's all I talk about on my YouTube channel too. Mm -hmm. But like, what other things about Taiwan do you think people should recognize and appreciate that Taiwan does really well, or, or, or for the first time visitor, what can they what can they do besides the food? I think the food is just the obvious, and but if you really understand Taiwan more, I think the food becomes the icing on top of the cake because there's so much more to it. Taiwan is uh, not a very big place, uh, but the mountains in Taiwan are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of these mountains in Taiwan, the trails are very well set up. Literally, you can go one day from the beach to the highest peak in Southeast Asia, right? And, and that, that, that kind of terrain is just is, is mind-boggling. So the nature. 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 But yeah, one of the beauties of Taiwan is that on, on this tiny island, there's a great, amazing public transportation yes. and high-speed rail system, so easy access everywhere, right? Uh, uh, and then the, the nightlife in Taiwan. Yeah. But so, you, you can go out and grab a shao ye, which is what we're doing. But that's, that means a late night snack, right? Okay. You go out. But the bars in Taiwan, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bartending industry has, has exploded, I think, in the past decade. So there's a lot of speakeasy bars or, you know, the, uh, good mixes. Yeah. Uh, nightlife in Taiwan, the clubbing. It's just, it's just really happening. So the food's really just the icing on yes. top. Like and I appreciate you taking me out for a, a night on the town here in Taipei. My pleasure. Thank All you so right. much. Thank Cheers, you. Man. Cheers. What an experience that was. Dennis was the perfect late night foodie guide here in Taipei. This is a city that never sleeps and there's always something good to eat. Well, I think I'm calling it a night. Time to stumble home to bed before the MRT closes. Or maybe I should get dessert. Make sure you check out the Taipei Tonight Show on Taiwan Plus, and we have more episodes of Top 5 in Taiwan, exploring the food culture here coming soon. Thank you for watching, and make sure, if you haven't already, subscribe to Taiwan Plus's YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys on another episode.